The only problem I'm finding with using uh, equipment is making sure I stare at the lens, but also not covering up the mic. So we're going to be doing some tests to see which camera, we've got like four cameras, we're going to be doing some tests to see which cameras actually pick up the best, and I'm going to do a better job of trying to laser focus on you and not look off at nothing because that makes me look crazier than I look already. Um, but anyway, right now I'm going to go check and see if the pool is open, so let's go do that. One thing I also determined is I really like talking to you guys in sunglasses because A, you can't see how crazy my eyes look because I think I have crazy eyes sometimes, and B, um, the sunglasses tend to catch the lens a lot better than just your eyes do because when obviously you're not wearing them, you can see where my pupils are. And even though I might be like looking around right now, um, it's harder to tell in sunglasses. So I do like that aspect of it. So the pool is closed for now. I was going to go take a swim. Oh, look at those things. There's the, we have these really huge beetles out here. I don't know if you can see those or not, but I don't know how long it's going to be closed for. But for now, oh, those are nice bushes. For now, it is closed. So we can't do our swimming in the mornings, which is fine. I might try jogging. I'm not sure. But um, we're going to work on the personal vlog thing. I need to work on camera technique, apparently, and sound and lighting. So how's the lighting on my feet? Is that... Can you just see them for a second. Um, um, I also need to get over my whole like social being weird about doing a blog vlog thing. So, um, you know, not let people weird you out because they're looking at you and not, not do all that stuff. So, so yeah, I need to get over that. Like I need to get over the whole like worrying about people like looking or wondering what you're doing or whatever because I know a lot of people that do this like don't worry about that and uh, good water management there something to think about something to work on but I'll have more coming up here in a little bit we're going to do some tests with the cameras and see what's what and which works best hey everyone go into the grocery store real quick to pick up groceries you know what I love is when people park, we have like an alley basically, and what I love is when people park <laughs> just like it's their personal parking lot, like just park wherever you want, like people aren't going to try to be getting in and out or anything. Anyway, this isn't meant to be negative, I things happen, what are you going to do? But uh, just kind of a routine day, thought I would bring you along and chat at you while I'm going to the grocery store. I don't even know if it's legal for me to have my phone on the windshield to the side by the by the pillar here um, I guess if I get pulled over I'll find out really quick but I guess I should also look up the law to see if that's legal I'm not touching anything obviously because you see my little hands and fingers are dangling in front of you um, but you know the laws are different here than they were in Texas uh, for instance like I have a little Star Trek insignia hanging from my rearview mirror and apparently you're not supposed to do that so, uh, but I see all kinds of people with like their, um, like crucifixes and not crucifixes, but like the rosaries and, um, different stuff, just like little badges or whatever hanging from the rear view mirror. So I'm not too, I'm not too concerned about it. Okay. Also, I just drove by somebody who was pushing a shopping cart. Uh, it was like a woman who had to be like in her very, very low twenties and a guy and they weren't like, um, they weren't homeless. Like they had stuff and, uh, they were just like having a grand old time pushing the shopping cart with stuff. And I'm like, that cart doesn't belong to you. I'm sorry. I don't mean this to be like a negative vlog or anything. I'm certainly not trying to be negative. It's just people do things that annoy me. It's just, it's frustrating. Why doesn't everyone else like follow the rules? I don't understand, but that's because it's easier not to follow the rules. And I guess that's how life is. So whatever. I feel like I'm causing a traffic jam. That's a horrible intersection. Um, anyway, 
Okay, so I almost just, uh, I don't know what that was. That intersection is really gross. Like there's a Starbucks that's got a drive through The drive through lets out right by the outlet of the parking lot, but you've got to stop. And then there were a bunch of people stop. It's just the whole thing. Anyway, um, did not get my cheddar grits fail, but that's all right. I'll find them somewhere else. Uh, I don't think they had any. The grits, um, the grits live in any other aisle, but the breakfast aisle, I looked with pastas and rices and I didn't find it there. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go back home now and start marinating some pork and I'm gonna start marinating some chicken and get on with the day. I've got to do some editing on a cook it your damn self, which is kind of, this one wasn't like really, really cooking. I mean, I did cook, but this one was more like intentionally sloppy, but not at the same time. I don't know if that makes any sense, but this one was more about like just getting a, a piece of content out. I mean, I hope it was like at least a little bit entertaining, entertaining, uh, but anyway, oh, let's see. Let's see if the neighbors have graciously moved their car out from the alleyway so that other people can park. I've got to edit a cook it your damn self that I want to put out. And I also have a voiceover to record for the bike ride that we did. God, see, I'll let you see as I'm passing. I hope it'll catch it. Right there. Like, don't worry about other people. Sorry again, not to make this a negative thing or a negative vlog or whatever, but it's just like, you don't own the alleyway, so maybe park like a normal human being. Hey guys, just to end the vlog from yesterday, um, I did finish editing the Cook It Your Damn Self episode with the pot roast last night, and hopefully we'll be recording a podcast soon and also uh, working on a few other things. But yeah, if you didn't get a chance to go check out the Cook It Your Damn Self video that I uploaded, I uploaded it today around noonish Pacific, so... Uh, figure out your own math there and you can go watch that. Hopefully it's entertaining. Uh, please feel free to leave comments or whatever you want about it, like subscribe, share it, all those great things. And hopefully we will be talking at you again soon. We've got some good plans for the weekend and some great stuff coming up. Uh, I think I mentioned earlier that James was thinking about possibly getting a drone. So that might be interesting. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that's kind of something that's overplayed or do you think that we should maybe experiment with that kind of thing? I think it could be pretty cool. Um, gonna work really hard on getting everything consistent like sound levels and looking at the lens, uh, hopefully close to 100% of the time, which I tend to not do. I tend to like look off or look at myself and, uh, the phone or the camera or whatever so gonna work on that but um it's all real new so we're still growing and any suggestions you guys have would be great any comments you want to leave awesome and uh hopefully we will talk to you guys later bye have you guys seen these cat like twizzler things the cat loves them It's pretty good.